Praise the Lord, everyone. Brother Rupe here with Sister Gretchen. Good morning. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. God bless you. If you like these short videos, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. So today's devotional is called Love Comes First. Ooh, yes, it's and it's be, good, too. Ooh, it has to be good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Joshua 23.11 says, Be very careful to love the Lord your God. Hmm. Yeah, loving God is not an accident. No. Uh -uh. You, we have to be very intentional about loving the Lord. We do. And our, our devotion today is going to... Try to help us understand that a little bit better. Right. As the aging Joshua gave his farewell address to the Israelites, he reminded them of everything God had done for them. The appropriate response to God's faithfulness, Joshua said, was to, quote, be very careful, unquote, yes. to love him. It is an act of the will an intentional response to who he is. But have you ever thought about it really, what it really means to love God? Hmm. Many who set out to love God focus on theology. But theology, while important and necessary, makes God an academic study <laughs> or a philosophical argument to prove. It may be a product of our love for God, but it does not define love. Right. Discussions abound in which God is a premise, a subject viewed through a theologian's <coughs> microscope or a philosopher's telescope, but in which there is no affection. Doctrine is critical for us to grasp, but it is not love. Right. Ask any Sadducee. Ooh. So we can have yeah. all the head <laughs> knowledge we can acquire yes about learning about who god is learning his word but that is not love of god right i mean it's right. a part of it but it ultimately is not love because i know a lot of people who know that there is a god but they don't love god they don't serve god right. they don't want his will for their lives and that's two hugely different things it, it is and we were just talking this morning about a couple we know that have tremendous head knowledge about God and theology, but they don't have the love of God in them. They're, they're bad people personally. And that's that's not that's not the spirit of God. That's not what God wants. God wants us to love people first and and then and love people uh, in a godly way. Yeah, I read was listening to something earlier this morning that until we fall in love with Jesus we really can't expect to love God. That's that's true. Because, you know, unless we learn and and have a gratefulness for Jesus and what he did on the cross for us, mm. we can't appreciate the love that God has for us. Right. We just can't. Cause, and we all have loved ones we want to see come to the Lord, but it's the same for them. They have to choose just like we have to choose. Yes. And it's heartbreaking. But it is the way it is. Everybody has to choose for themselves. That's right. Everybody has to fall in love with Jesus themselves. That's right. Many of us, many who set out to love God focus on works. Yes. But works, while an essential outgrowth of love for God, can easily become an attempt to gain his approval. Mm, yes. In truth, they are not acts of devotion, but acts of self-interest. We want to gain a higher esteem in his eyes, something that makes one of makes us one of his insiders. <laughs> right. It's a great feeling to think you're an insider with you have an inside with God. Right. <laughs> it's a high, but it's not reality. It's not reality, yeah. It's your own ego, you know? yeah. We end up with the self righteousness that fills us with brief satisfaction but leaves us empty of love. Yes. Ask any Pharisee. Mm. And that's so true. We do things, we think we're doing them for the Lord, and part of it probably is very much for the Lord. But that does not, that is not love of God uh -huh. when you're doing stuff just to feel good about yourself. Right. You know, and, and kudos. I, I love doing things for people and helping others. But, 
you know, if I'm doing it to only feed my flesh and my good feelings, it's that's not proof that there's love of God there. No. You know. Let's see. Many who set out to love God focus on emotions. Mm. But emotions, though a desirable and essential outgrowth of love, can't not define our love. Right. They are far too fleeting. We end up riding waves of feeling or missing out on them altogether. Love remains constant. Feelings don't. Ask any zealot. <laughs> so, let's, we all experience that. We experience highs and lows in life. We do. You know, that's we part of life. Yeah. That's right. I recently kind of went on a, I was on a down slope just of so many things going on that I just felt sad about, you know, and, and, and you just, just like you can't depend on the highs, you can't focus on the lows, no. you know, because you ultimately God is, our joy should be in the Lord and not on our feelings on this planet. Right. Because this planet, the feelings that we experience here on earth will deceive us. They will, um, cause us to do things that aren't aren't part of reality and that's where we need to live we need to live in reality and not not in a life based on emotions of right. ups and downs very true so how do we love god great question mm. we lie at his feet and tell him we are his mm. we seek to honor him in all we do we want to be like him we crave his fellowship. We pray his desires. We are consumed with, obsessed with, and filled with his ways, his works, and his will. The theology, the works, and the feelings will come. Yes. They are good, but only after the devotion. Hmm. Love always comes first. You know, Jesus said it very, very strongly. Short and to the point. If you love me, you'll obey my commandments. Yes. That's very short and to the point. And that's true. That's God's idea of love, what love is. Our, our, our idea of what love is, is different from God's. God's idea is, if you love me, you'll follow my commandments. I know, me, for myself personally, I feel like love is happiness. <clears throat> well, guess what? Love is not always happiness. No. The commandments have yet, thou shalt and thou shalt not. Right. There are some no's <laughs> in the Lord's commandment. And we, we don't like living by the no's. We don't like being told. But they're good for us. They are good for us. We yeah. are to be fenced in. For our own good. For our own good. Because <laughs> we are like sheep. And if you ever look up sheep, the definition of what it is to be a sheep, you're curious and you're dumb. And Very that dumb, combination <laughs> will get us in a world of trouble. Yeah, it will. It will. So that just shows we cannot depend on our own emotions. No. You know, and no. the only way we can get our emotions under control is to love God. Yep. And let him lead us. Yes. When we decide that we want to live for him and his will. Yes. Your world, I'm not going to lie, your world's going to get rocked. But it's going to get rocked for good. Yes. It's going to be a positive thing. And um, it's worth investigating where it leads you to. Amen. I can promise you that. Amen. Yeah. We're, yeah. Us being together is proof of that. True. Very true. Well, we hope y'all have an amazing day. And we love y'all. And uh, we welcome you to reach out to us if you have any questions. Or if you want us to pray with you. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye. God bless you.